Clocking and I.O. sharing. When a sound grid device is shared between two sound grid systems, both systems must be locked to the same master clock. If a second sound grid system lets you share an I.O. device with your system, and that second system has a different clock source, the difference must be rectified. When a shared I.O. device is assigned and its clock source differs from your master clock, a pop-up will appear. That shared device or its master clock is now the local Sync Over Ethernet clock master for all the devices on your local SoundGrid network. In this example, device A, iOS, is shared with eMotion LV1 system B. This means that the device is now assigned to two independent systems, A and B. These systems must be synchronized to the same master clock device. In this scenario, A, iOS, becomes the clock master of system B. All other devices become SOE slaves. It is possible to assign another device as the clock master while using a shared device, as long as all devices share the same clock. Use each system's set master menu to reassign clock masters. Select the same device in both systems, and the clock will be common to both systems. The shared device can now be a slave in the client system. If the shared device cannot synchronize to the new clock, it will be unavailable for sharing by that host. Other SoundGrid hosts in the super system may be able to sync to the shared device if they can adjust their clocks accordingly. A shared device can be either a slave or the clock master of its own SOE network, indicated by the M for master or the shared device's icon. Note that changing the master clock assignment in a system that includes shared devices will result in a clock reset in all associated systems. This will result in a short audio dropout.